Grace Adler, twice in one day. How wonderful. You know each other? I had him in college. I, he was my professor <laughs> in college. I remember when Grace first walked into my class. She lit up the room. <laughs> she, she did. did. Oh, yeah. mm, she was a special student. Actually, she was very special because Grace and I... Oh, my God! We forgot to look at the moon. <laughs> Someone, someone's got to check on it. What if something happened to okay, you? Okay, oh, yeah, so you want me to look? Please, okay, could okay. you please? And JJ, don't be so rude. Go get your grandfather a drink. Oh, gosh, please, please, please. Please don't tell your son and your grandson about our history. I am, I'm kind of seeing James right now. I've been thinking about you all day. <laughs> Let's recreate that magic. <laughs> I just told you I am seeing your son. But I'm better, right? Really? When can I, I see you? Oh, gosh, hmm? I don't know. Maybe next week for a biscotti. <laughs> Two biscottis, maybe. You know, I think maybe I oversold the moon. Um, it's a moon. That's it. OK, you know what? I want to make a toast to the Knicks who start on time. Uh -huh. Right? <laughs> Mm. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, JJ, you better get going. <laughs> the only time he wants to spend time with me is when I'm with a pretty girl. Oh, I think I'm good with my own pretty girl. I once had the prettiest girl in the world. <laughs> great, great. So you had the prettiest girl in the world. Once again, you win, Dad. You're the one who made it a competition. You make everything a competition. Maybe you didn't have the prettiest girl in the world. I had the prettiest girl. Dear God, for once in my life, let me win. I have the prettiest girl in the world. Oh, you never have oh, the prettiest girl. Oh, God, I can't see this anymore. Stop! I am the prettiest girl in the world. You are fighting over me. What? All of us? Grandpa. <laughs> All right, here goes. I slept with you in college because I was working through a dad issue. I slept with you today as a rebound to get over you. You slept with my son? And my father? You really have to put it into context. You lost, Dad. All right, Grace said she'd go out with me. No, well, she asked me out next week for coffee. And who knows what else. <laughs> Okay, I, I said I would go out with you, but only so that you wouldn't tell your dad that I slept with you. And I said I would go out with you just so that you wouldn't tell your son and your grandson that I slept with you. But in my defense, I have not met a single word of what I have said tonight, except to you, James. James, I really, really, really like you. And I really don't see any reason why this has to be complicated. <laughs> And as I'm saying this, I realize that this will not work. And so you tell me what day you do the laundry and I will work around your schedule. Generally Saturday mornings. Oh, really? Because that's really oh when I God. like to, okay. We should go to the game. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll call you. Oh, <laughs> I know him, he's... James's father. And that's... Grandson. So you... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Respect. Karen? Lou? Ow! Oh. Karen? Just because I'm the new girl, they think they can give me the car with the bum wheel. Short two shower caps and a sewing kit, and you know that's coming out of my pay. <laughs> Housekeeping. <laughs> okay, here's a personality I've never met before. <laughs> Thought I knew all of them. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> Use some advice. Well, um, first of all, you dust with the feather end, not the stick end. <laughs> hmm, better. <laughs> Listen, I have this friend. 
friend who lives at the Palace Hotel, and she and her maid, Ro Mosario, <laughs> switched places so that my friend could pose as a poor but honest chambermaid to woo a hunky maintenance man. Now, my friend's fallen in love with him, and she's afraid that if she tells him the truth, he'll leave her. Hey, here comes my friend's cart. <laughs> So, you're afraid that a poor janitor might not love you because you're rich? Not me, my friend. <laughs> well, the way I see it is if the guy really loves her, he'll look past the money and see a pure heart the size of a marble. <laughs> Yeah, maybe you're right. Thanks, honey. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to turn down the beds and put a mint on each pi- Hey, where are my mints? I don't know. <laughs> hey, ladies. Hey, hey. Hey, ladies. <laughs> Feet are killing me. We just walked like 30 blocks. Oh, can I get you something to drink? She's buttering him up. She didn't tell him about Leo. You know what I really like? Where's that new foot massager? He's setting her up. He knows about Leo. You don't need the electric massager. I will rub your feet. No, no, no. Get it. I, I want to try it. Look, well, I don't, I don't, I don't have the massager, okay? She gave it to her guy. He's a really good kisser. How good a kisser? <laughs> what, what, what happened to it? Did, did your boyfriend take it back to the sharper image? He's not my foot. How did you know about that? I saw him there when I was returning that stupid personal cooling system. You returned the personal cooling system? Why didn't you just tell me that you didn't like it? I don't know. Why didn't you tell me that you wanted more time because of some guy? Hey, you want me to show you? Show me. Okay. Get out! Damn, Leo's good. I'm sorry. I was going to tell you. I started to tell you, and then you were so understanding, and then there were gifts and curled ribbons. Grace, Grace, just... Grace, bottom line. Do you want to have this baby with me or not? You said I could have more time. That was before I found out you were sneaking around behind my back. If you want to back out of this, then I want you to back out of it now, because I don't want to have this conversation again in a month like we did with the cabinets. I like the nickel pulls. Now I like the brass pulls. Oh, now I like the nickel pulls again. Make up your freaking mind. <laughs> So what you're saying is, if I don't do it tomorrow, you don't want to do it at all? That's right, Grace. It's now or never. Well, if that's the case, I guess I have to go with never. Oh, I can't believe this! <sighs> this is only the most important thing we've ever done together, and you flake out on me? I don't know why that's surprising. You're a flake! I am not oh, a flake! Oh, please! The dinners you blow off, the dry cleaning you forget to pick up, the rent that's late every month, and it's always been this way, Grace. I mean, you, you skipped out on my law school graduation party before I cut the cake. That was a big deal. It was carrot cake. That's never a big deal. <laughs> but I always let it go, Grace. Because, you know, come on, it's, it's not like we're making a baby or something. Except this time, we're making a baby. Yes, at the moment you say, the place you say, wearing the clothes you say, you are a control freak. All I asked for was one month, one month, to see where this is going. Oh, let me tell you where this is going. You'll end up hating him in three weeks because, I don't know, he has a weird chest hair pattern. Or he doesn't like watching E. Or he'll end up hating you because you're too needy. Then you'll fall apart, I'll pick you up, and then magically, you'll be ready to have a baby. Wow. So that's what you think of me. Look, I'm sorry that I met someone because I know how much you hate it when I'm happy. Oh, that is such Admit a lot. You're happiest when I'm miserable. I mean, come on. Isn't that our thing? Because then you don't have to look at how miserable you are. Shut up, but Grace. But I am not going to be miserable for you. I am going to try to be happy. And if you can't deal with that, then you are even more pathetic than I thought. Get out of here. Go to hell. No, I mean it. I want you out of here in two weeks. You don't live here anymore. Grace, this is delicious. It's so nice to be around people who eat food. 
When somebody has a birthday at Vogue, they put a candle in the middle of a lifesaver and then argue about who gets the smallest piece. I made these kebabs for Grace once. She totally fell in love with the recipe. Liar! <laughs> How could I fall in love with your kebabs? I've never had them. <laughs> Diane had your kebabs. But apparently, I wasn't good enough for your kebabs. Wait, why do you care that Diane's had Will's kebabs, but you don't care that she's had mine and I've had hers? Silly. Diane is a girl. She doesn't have kebabs. She has a kajina. And nice katits. <laughs> You know, Grace, I was with Diane a year and a half. It wasn't just one drunken night in a dorm room. It was a lot of drunken nights. <laughs> Including one embarrassing incident involving a public bathroom and an untimely entrance by Ed Koch. By the way, I know it seems like I need to drink in order to have sex. I don't, it just makes it better. <laughs> Nobody finds you interesting. <laughs> Except your husband and your best friend. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a party. Let's let loose and, and eat frosting right out of the can. Will's right now. Come on, come on, let's change the subject. Gosh, sakes. So, Diane, you work for Vogue. Who has a better lay, Huck Finn or Captain Homo? Come on, who is better? Who is better? No, we are not discussing this. It's not a competition. Just don't be ashamed of yourselves. Will was better. Yes! <laughs> what do you mean, Will was better? He couldn't find a G-spot with Yahoo Maps. <laughs> Don't let it bug you. I'm sure there's plenty of things you're better at. They just don't involve sex with a woman. You know, I don't have to defend myself here. Grace can tell you how good I am. Two words. Disneyland jail. Well, you know, I'd love to help you out, sweetie, but I really don't have any basis for comparison. You see, I've had you, but I've never had uh, this guy, because apparently I wasn't good enough. Are you ever going to let this go? No. I don't understand. When I found out that you slept with someone right after you couldn't do it with me, I always thought that, that, that the woman would be totally different than me. You know, ugly. <laughs> and then this walked in. Hi. <laughs> she is beautiful. She's funny. She's smart. She's like my twin. <laughs> yeah, right, honey. Just like Randy Quaid is Dennis Quaid's twin. <laughs> so what was it, Will? Why her and not me? Excuse me. I had an actual relationship with this woman. I mean, she had a drawer at my apartment. I called her parents Papa Tom and Mama Joanne. You know, I, I, we had our pictures taken on a coffee mug together wearing t-shirts saying, caution, we're hot. <laughs> So how about a little jealousy for me? You know what, you're right. I'm sorry. I've been such an idiot. And if I just really stopped and thought, and I just focused on what was real, it, it does kill me that you were with such an amazing woman for so long. Thank you. That's all I needed. You're welcome. So what was it, Will? Why her, not me? Hey. I almost died today! What? What are you talking about? I had an emergency biopsy of my boob. The big one? <laughs> I want to get the results later today. Grace, that must have been... Terrifying. Did it... They knocked me out. Because you're a big... A big baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How do you feel? Not good! I might have cancer! <gasps> I smell toast. I made toast. Wait, you're eating 
bread? It's not a cheat day. What's wrong? No, I don't want to make this about me. You, you're dealing with something real. Have you been crying? I went to the Princess Diana exhibit, <laughs> which was amazing. <laughs> but I bought remastered DVDs of the wedding and the funeral, and I watched the back-to-back, -back, and now I'm eating my feelings. How could you do that to yourself? She really was like a candle in the wind. Speaking of just hanging out in the wind, I'm here. Leo. How you doing, Will? What are you doing? Oh, please, God, tell me you're not back together, unless you are, in which case. Yay! <laughs> He's still my emergency contact. What? I thought you told Karen to... Oh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> you know, you should have probably been her emergency contact even when we were married. Good luck with the test results, Grace. Well, it was, it was good seeing you. What did you mean by that? I think he just meant it was nice to see me, and he understood that my... No, was the thing before that. What did you mean by Will being my uh, emergency contact when we were married? Grace, it doesn't matter. No, just say it. You never shared anything with me. You always ran to Will. Wasn't that the problem with our marriage? You could never be in a relationship with me because you're always going to have this weird thing with Will. Oh, so that's it? I don't get a last word? No, you get the last word by bringing up who gets the last word. Well, how about we're done talking and no one gets the last word? Fine. You did it again. You know what? I want the last word. So you get on that elevator and you stand there silently until the door closes in your face. You know, this is... I, uh, uh, oh! <laughs> last word. Bye, Grace. Ah! <laughs>